you know, life, cha- life always has challenges. And most of the time, you can't run away from them. And so, in general, it's learning how to walk through them uh, in the best way possible. And one of the best ways to do that is knowing that you have people around you that can help you do that. And so every time we've had difficult times, it's the people around us that have really helped to make a difference in our lives, our friends and family. We've lived in all over the country and we've made home wherever it is that we have been uh, located. And so family you know, is what makes a uh, place a home. And so here we have lots of friends, we have a lot of close people, uh, and uh, we just love it. That's great. So. Um, do you know how big the town is? Like population um, it, it is different during the winter and the summer. So it's you know somewhere between 8,000 to 10,000 year round, okay. but it swells to um, you know, two, three, four times that during the summer. There's a lot of summer only residents. Uh, okay. So they're very different crowds. The part-timers, yeah. Yeah. Um, did, is there a primary industry in this town? Is it tourism? tourism. Yeah, tourism would, would be the primary industry. Got it. Um, with the national park being here and everything else geared towards the national park, uh, just re- everything revolves around tourists. I definitely like smaller towns. Uh, we lived just outside of Washington, D.C. for a while. Uh, we lived outside of Detroit for a while. And those are big cities <laughs> and lots and lots of people. Uh, so we appreciate the smaller town and especially the mountains. Um, it's just people are different and they're wonderful. Um, I love the mountains. I, I'm in my happy place in the mountains. <laughs> and there's not too many other places around the world where you can live right in the mountains and just go hiking and explore when you want to. And so that's what I love about being here. And don't be afraid to enjoy life because it's so easy to get tied up into work and all the things that you have to do uh, that you forget to do the things that are most important with family and just enjoying life. Is there anything leading up to now in life, could be anything mm-hmm. that sticks out as one of your more positive memories, anything you could be you know, proud of or mm-hmm. look back on and say, wow, that was a, that was a good period of time? Uh, you know, it, a lot of it is just doing what you love to do. And when I've been able to do the, what I love to do, I'm a pastor, so when I'm doing the things that I love to do, whether it's with youth or with people, that's what makes it the best. That's and so wherever that is located, uh, it's been amazing, but being up here has been fantastic. And I've served in every, pretty much every position. I've been lead pastor, I've been a, a um, associate pastor, I've been a youth pastor. So well, I've, gambit, I haven't so. done kids. I draw the line at, you know, below <laughs> what, 12 years old, Patty, <laughs> 10 years old. <laughs> they get crazy back then.